this is 170 Bolin. It's an end unit in a four unit building. Uh, this unit had a substantial renovation because the owner lived in it um, for a few years. Six or seven years ago, I think. Um, it has some, had some other updates like the entry doors are new. It's in a um, development that was done by the military uh, back in, I think, like 1960 era. Uh, it does have parking right beside it. Super nice. Um, being 60, I mean, that's not new. But for Bangor, that is actually um, much newer than the norm. You know, Bangor, about, I don't know, 80% of the housing stock is uh, 120 to 150 years old. So having something that is only um, 60 years old, only 60 years old, that's true, uh, is kind of rare. And it is nice because they were built with more modern times. It has a bath and a half, it has huge closets, has a full basement for storage, so it is nice. Um, this design unit is not as normal as over here because um, they have a office or a dining room in addition to the living room. So it's three bedrooms plus an office or bonus room. The kitchen is plenty big. Uh, lots of room for a table or an island or both maybe. They also um, put this built-in shelf to show off the living room so it's open too. Again, kitchen, uh, really good size, a little bit bigger countertop than most. Has a dishwasher, which is also kind of rare. And they did a tile backsplash, which is kind of nice. Um, did laminate floors, which are not perfect, but in good shape. Got a few scratches and stuff, but uh, much better than carpet, of course. So a decent sized living room, uh, actually big enough to do a sectional. So kind of nice that way. And then it's got the bonus room, which makes a great home office. But could be a dining room or a bonus room. It's got uh, the back door, which does have like a tile floor here. Uh, it's got a nice backyard. Um, again, there's four units here, but they do it. We put in little privacy fences last year, I believe. So you do get a little bit of privacy. Parking wise, um, excuse me, uh, parking's right there. So uh, several tenants have used this as their main entry door. Uh, but again, it depends on what you might use it for. So that's up to the tenant. It does have vinyl replacement windows. They're not new, though. They're probably 20 uh, years old. So uh, better than old original windows, but still um, they're not new. Uh, every unit does have its own heating system, which is actually one of the cool points for this. Um, owner pays the heat, but the tenant controls. If you like it hotter or cooler, that's kind of nice. does have, as I mentioned, a full basement. So... You've got, it's a completely unfinished. Um, so you've got a washer dryer hookup, just side by side, which is kind of nice. And then extra space. Most tenants easily use it for storage or sometimes an exercise area or something. You can see the last tenant left a rug, um, which we would dispose of if somebody doesn't want it. Um, they do get, they don't get wet. They have a floor drain. Um, but if you have really heavy rain or in the um, spring, if we have a, uh, a lot of snow for the over the winter, they can get damp. And we do recommend that people run a dehumidifier. Like if you had this pack full of stuff, I'd recommend a dehumidifier, you know, from March to October. So uh, that's kind of the basics on this. This does have the furnace room for the whole building in it. So this room is a little smaller than the other basements just because it has that cutout. But um, this not needed very much for access <clears throat> basically once a year for a cleaning and we do have our furnaces on a maintenance plan so we have 24-hour emergency service if the furnace goes out but besides if there's a maintenance problem then um, we don't need access otherwise this does have again a half bath uh, one and a half bath so the half bath is on the first floor here and um, decent size and again they tiled it when the owner was here which is kind of nice Small vanity mirror. It's got wood laminate upstairs as well. So you don't have any carpeted rooms, which is kind of cool. This is pretty much as the tenant left it. We did a little bit of touch-up painting, and we have our cleaner who's still going to come back and do a final clean through just to wipe down floors and stuff, but it's in good shape. Two bedrooms, both about the same size. Easily can do a king-size bed, and they have these double closets, which is nice. They say double, they're double the width. 
They're also deep enough to put a bureau in, so some tenants do that. And then they've got storage above. The second room, like I said, is about the same size. I think, I think this room is one foot wider, but again, very good size and has the same double closet. And then the third room, oh, actually there is a good size linen closet here in the hall too. And there's a big linen closet in the bathroom, which is really nice. So you've got third bedroom, oh, go ahead, could be an office or whatever somebody wanted to use it for. Um, which has a more like regular size closet, does have a shelf. And then you've got a nice size bathroom, it has a medicine cabinet above, and is all tile, so easy to clean. Has a bath thing, and then as I mentioned, the sort of oversized linen closet here. Hopefully that completes 170 Bowling Drive. If you'd be interested, it's basically available right away. And uh, we'd be happy to answer any questions you might have otherwise. Visit our rentbangor.com.